What's going on YouTube? In this video, we're going to be changing the mass, or sorry, not the mass airflow sensor. This truck doesn't have one. Uh, we're gonna be changing the map sensor. There are no tools required for this on, a, on this type of truck. It's very simple to change, very easy to get to. Now, typically you've got a hose running here. You just, it just pops off. Grab it, pop it off. That's all there is to it. You take these uh, wing nuts off. whole thing pulls off just like that. Now your map sensor is located right here. Um, there are no bolts holding it in. Be very careful because uh, these clips on the plug-in are brittle. Mine's already broken so I don't have to worry about it. And this sensor just pops off. Give it a good wiggle. Careful not to break your vacuum line. Give it a good wiggle, pop it off. We've got a new sensor. Well, that's probably not gonna come into focus very well. We've got a new map sensor right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just toss that on there. Now I'm replacing a lot of parts on this truck because unfortunately, it's not giving me any codes, but yet it's running excessively rich. Uh, watch the very first video, the review video on this truck, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Go ahead and put your uh, line on. Plug it up. And then it'll snap right back into place, just like that. Make sure that... Uh, Make sure your vacuum line hasn't come off at all. Make sure your plug is on there tight. And that's all there is to changing your map sensor. Um, at this point, you can put your air cleaner back on. There's a little notch in the front of it so that you don't put it on wrong. Lines up nice and perfect. Your lid has an arrow that says front, so you can't really get that wrong either. It can be a little bit of a pain to find those. Once you got them, tighten up your wing nuts. I'm not going to tighten down all the way because uh, I still have some diagnosing to do. And the reason we're changing the map sensor on this, guys, I'm changing every sensor on this truck. Every single one of them is being replaced because I'm getting no codes. I've replaced the fuel pressure regulator, the fuel injectors, the base gasket, checked all my vacuum lines. They're all routed properly. There's no leaks, but this thing is dumping fuel and, uh, one well, of the next videos, we're going to be replacing the distributor because there is a lot of slop in it, and it could very well be the distributor. But I'm not messing around, guys, and uh, there will be a link in the description for these parts. Um, so you can find them at a really, really cheap discounted price um, on eBay. And, you know, eventually we'll replace enough stuff on this truck that uh, it's going to run right. Um, so we're going to replace one part at a time and then we'll find out how it runs after I replace that part. I did test this sensor and the sensor was showing full vacuum um, with it at an idle and that should not be. So we definitely have an issue with the map sensor. Um, I checked the wiring. Wiring is fine. Ground's good. Signal wire is good. The uh, voltage wire is good. Um, so that leaves either a problem internal to the computer, which is definitely a possibility on these, or the map sensor. So, you know, these sensors go bad anyway. You might as well just go ahead and replace them. They're cheap. This map sensor was $8 on eBay, and there will be a link in the description. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and be safe out there.